I'm going over to Angela's house because after about a year of neglect, her arch server has finally died. And I'm bringing over a NUC running Open Media Vault 3. I'm gonna try to do a swap, get Plex, a couple of Usenet services up and running, which is gonna mean finding logins and all of that kind of stuff, and see if I can't replace her existing Arch home-built custom server with this Open Media Vault NUC in a couple of hours. I'm just kind of thinking as I drive over to Angela's house about how I would have done this differently if I if I could have. If I could have planned this, I would have moved a lot of data off of her server that she doesn't really need. Stuff that Plex is going to have to rescan and index. And I'll, there's a lot of little programs on there that could be moved off, like some BitTorrent sync stuff. So I think because I'm at a state right now where her, her home server isn't booting, which means her DNS isn't working, her Plex isn't working, automated downloads and backups aren't working, so it's... It's gotten past the point where I can do it the way I want to do it, and I just have to get it replaced. I'm going to try to do a one-to-one -one swap. I'm trying to run through some of the things that I'm going to need to know. I'm going to need to know the logins for Usenet and the off-site backup. I'm going to need to know what the NFS exports are on the storage array that I'm going to be connecting the Open Media Vault installation to, because the back-end storage is going to be over NFS. And I'm going to need to do that over FS tab, so that way it shows up as an actual volume, I think. i got to figure that out, so that way the... Open Media Vault services see the NFS data, which means I hope I remember what the root password was for this Open Media installation. It's been a few weeks. This is all really crammed together. I'm not sure I'm actually going to pull this off. Hello. Really? Okay, so I guess the last time this was updated was 3.19.2, so you can do the math on how old this install is. And when I hit enter here, it goes so fast you can't see it, but there's a lib ncurses error that comes up. Half the system needs lib ncurses 5, the other half needs lib, lib ncurses 6, and I think 6 is installed right now, and so I can't get a shell. So we can't get logged in. It looks like Dev SDA wasn't unmounted cleanly. It's doing a check disk right now. SDA1 checks out okay, and I've got a local IP address on the LAN so I can pull it up in the web browser. First step's done. Can't get on the wireless network, and the only wireless network I can get on doesn't seem to be able to talk to the Open Media Vault server. Don't tell Noah, but it's working fine in Firefox. I can't get it to open up the page in Chrome, but I've got the Open Media Vault login screen now under Firefox. That's embarrassing. Let's go ahead and install all the updates this time, shall we? I think that uh, that would be good. You gonna use a screwdriver on your knee? Uh-huh. Yeah. I didn't need it anyways. Okay, updates are done. I think maybe my next step is to create a user account for her and then Figure out the NFS stuff. If you know your file server's name, but you don't know the past to your NFS mounts, a quick command, show mount dash E, and then the name of the file server will list all of the exports that you can connect to. And I can see mine, there's only one, so that's obviously the one to pick, slash volume one, slash fart. I did a quick FS tab update. I put my NFS mount in there, and now I've already checked it. I was able to mount slash MNT slash NFS and I'm connected to the storage. So now it should be a matter of configuring applications to look at this. Right? Isn't that right, Bella? Yeah. I'm doing a quick reboot here and uh, just to make sure that the thing mounts at boot okay. And once again, I'm getting a check disk type thing here. What's it, what's it saying here? A start job is running for dev dash disk dash slash buy. I don't even know what that is. I gotta, I gotta look into this after this thing boots up. I don't think it's critical because it's happened every time and so far it's it's been fine. Okay, good news. What? The NFS mount was there after boot up. We have access to the file shares. It's now just a matter of programming. I can't be in. <laughs> it's me. So is the TV fixed? Not yet, but we're a lot closer. So could we still have a party? Well, we're getting a lot closer. K. 
candy reward if Daddy gets this working. I already have OMV Extras installed, so now it should just be a matter of enabling the Plex plugin. When I do this, it'll do some basic configuration. It pulls down the packages and sets up the Plex server. We officially have Plex. I've got the uh, welcome setup screen going, just adding libraries, and then the scan will start. If I was going to do the server move the way I could have planned it, I would have backed up our Plex database first. But we got the Plex server set up and we have all the libraries on there and it's doing the scan thing. They're all gonna show up as new, <laughs> but at least we'll be able to stream to the televisions again. Oh yeah, that's Plex running on the Roku, streaming from Open Media Vault. Success! Digging up the uh, Usenet login information. It, am I reading that right? 36 terabytes of transfer? Whoa. Okay, that took longer than I thought it would. I, even after all these years, I still failed to factor in the kid disruption. Things went pretty good. Plex was the number one goal. I got that up and going. and got the file shares live. Uh, and I got, uh, I got NZB Git set up. <clears throat> oh, hi there. But um, Couch Potato and Sab NZB, which I also tried that. And, um, Sick beard. None of them would start up. They all have air lights, so I'm not really sure. I think I'm gonna have to do some googling. But if she gets herself an NZB file, she can upload it to NZB Git's web interface and get files temporarily. So it's just the automated stuff that's not working. So I'll have to I'll have to Google that and see if there's anything specific with Open Media Vault and, and setting up those programs. The other kind of like just thing that I just gotta say is. I still feel like it's way too hard to work with NFS shares under Open Media Vault. None of the web UI can see the fact that I have 12 terabytes of disk mounted over NFS. Um, so I'm, I feel like I'm constantly running up against that with Open Media Vault. However, you know, all in all, see, I, I got there two and a half hours, three three hours ago. Yeah, yeah, about almost three hours now. Uh, and we got the basic functionality up and running. And now it's on a system that she can update, she can maintain, and she can use the admin interface. So I think just other than a small few little things like Couch Potato and um, Sickbeard, I'm gonna say a success for Open Media Vault 3.